Mr. Speaker, today I rise to honor the service and sacrifice of hometown hero and Medal of Honor recipient PFC Garfield M. Langhorn from Riverhead, New York, who 50 years ago today saved the lives of his platoon members at just 20 years old. By throwing himself on a live grenade in Pleiku province in Vietnam on January 15, 1969, PFC Langhorn served as a radio operator with Troop C, 7th Squadron, 17th Cavalry Reg Regiment, 1st Aviation Brigade, when his unit attempted to rescue the crew of a downed American helicopter. Finding no surviving crew, PFC Langhorn and his unit were returning the fallen aviators when they came under heavy fire from North Vietnamese forces. Under the cover of darkness, the North Vietnamese began to advance, throwing a hand grenade in front of PFC Langhorn who threw himself on this grenade. He was just a few feet, the grenade was just a few feet from a few of his injured comrades. It was in that moment, PFC Langhorne was so selfless, he chose a courageous act that President Lincoln once referred to as, quote, the last full measure of devotion. It was an act for his brothers, his fellow soldiers, and his country. In that moment, he, quote, unhesitatingly threw himself on the grenade, scooped it beneath his body, and absorbed the blast, according to the Medal of Honor citation and the first-hand accounts of his fellow soldiers he saved. For his extraordinary act of bravery, PFC Langhorne received a series of awards, including the highest, most prestigious personal military declaration, the Medal of Honor. Most recently, the Riverhead Post Office was named in his honor. There's no doubt PFC Langhorne has earned these combinations, but they mean little if we forget to look beyond the decorations and forever remember and honor the actions of the 20-year-old man who earned them. In saving his fellow soldiers, PFC Langhorne's life was extinguished too soon. But as President Lincoln continued, quote, we were highly resolved that these dead shall not have died in vain. Today, we must challenge ourselves as Americans to pick up that, tor that torch, to embody the bravery selflessness and commitment to our great country. There is no memorial, no medal, and no post office that can bring back PFC Langhorn, but he can live eternally in all of us, in our actions, and in our hearts. I